So Clive, the uh, result against the Arch Carnegie wasn't what we wanted, obviously, but uh, did the performance please you after the Nottingham game? Yeah, I mean, if, uh, no, that was a 22-15 in control, um, you know, relatively in control. There's always a danger, there's always a dangerous team, Leeds, and uh, I keep saying Leeds, sorry, Yorkshire. Um, so we're always wary of their dangers and threats, but uh, you know, the, the manner we should brought them back into the game was our own doing. You know, we shot ourselves in the foot again as uh, as we did the week before against Nottingham. So it's um, it, it is it's concerned for us, but we know that we're not that far away from getting our game management right. And if we do get that right, um, then you know the results will follow. We, we're not far off. You know, in all the games, you can see how close they are. It's just we get that mad moment in a in a match, and uh, you know it, it does it does cause us a lot of grief. And uh, a player that's been performing well of late, Roy Pittman, has got his second try against Carnegie. Have you been impressed with his performance since he's joined? Yeah, well, I know Rory from you know my time down Wales, and uh, you know he, when he puts it together, he's a, he's, he's a quality player, you know, and um, he's certainly uh, been rejuvenated here, and it looks as if he's got the bit between his teeth again, and uh, you know, he'd be good for us in the future for sure. Um, delighted with his progress. Good to have Ollie back as well. And uh, you know, we've got a few troops coming back this week. Unfortunately, we've gone, gone and lost a few others as well. You know, Jarves, unfortunately, now for a lengthy period of time, looks like Curtis Wilson with a, a gym injury yesterday. Uh, we'll just check on Charlie for for the weekend as well. So, uh, swings and roundabouts. Nick Savita is back available, and um, so is Tom Card and Mark Clark. Matt Clark. So, look, um, you know, it's, it's, you'd love to have everybody fit on, a, on any given Saturday, but. Uh, and that's never the case. And uh, this week we face Coventry. It was a tough and close battle last time. Are you expecting a, a similar tough, close match? Yeah, well, there's another example of what I said about you know a game where we you know we looked really good in the first half in a very strong wind. Um, you know we were full value for for the for the lead at half time, and then you know a couple of errors, uh, you know kicking ball in the full, and and then two yellow cards which weren't yellow cards, but that added insult to injury. You know, that's a referee error and an AR error. I mean, we can't do anything about that. But it did cost us the match, and uh, you know, we're seething about that. Um, and if we can just keep 15 players on the field, and look, it's, it's consistency of, of performance that's what we're looking for. You know, out of this conversation, it's you know, the game. You don't win anything at half time by being in front. You don't win anything at, on 60 minutes of being in front. You win by being ahead of the score uh, with the team, uh, the opposition, at the end of the game on the scoreboard. So. You know that's that's the big objective, and we're working uh, hard, training hard to to get those aspects to play right.